Hi, I'm Louise Brakey from Brakey & Co. Being a landlord isn't easy and it helps to get assistance from a professional. Many landlords utilise the service of agents, but sometimes the agent isn't the right choice for the landlord. If you'd like to explore your options, then you've probably asked yourself how easy is it to switch agents during a tenancy? So first of all, you always need to check your notice period. Before you get too excited about the prospect of switching agents, check your notice period. You should have a contract with your estate agent and the terms of business will dictate if you need to give them notice at the end of an agreement or whether you've got a specific notice period that you've got to give them in writing. If you feel that you can discuss the matter with your estate agent, then do so. They may be willing to negotiate an early release um, of the agreement or they may offer you a solution which creates a better working relationship. It's always um, a really good thing to speak to them. Hand in your notice. Once you've decided that you're going to sever the relationship, then do so in writing and request confirmation of this notice. A useful tip is to schedule this notice alongside the tenancy periods. Doing so helps you switch agents at the same time as the rent is due. Confirm your tenant's details while, uh, while you should have correct contact details for your tenant on record. It's always an excellent time to confirm them just in case you've got out of date details. Now, this will allow you to engage with your tenant and also you'll feel confident in supplying the contact details to your next agent. You should always look to minimise problems and confirming tenants' contact details is a sensible strategy for any landlord and, and always do this ongoing anyway. So how to find a new estate agent? If you're looking to switch agents, there's a good chance that you plan to switch to a new agent um, and you may think, you know, where do I start? You know, there's so many agents out there. However, you may, have, you may not have someone, someone in mind, and if this is the case, you'll need to begin searching for that new agent. So I would always say, look online for reviews. If you associate with other landlords, then have a chat to them and say, look, have you got any rec recommendations? Recommendations are always a good, a good uh, port of call. Also, before you commit to the new estate agent, arrange a meeting. So you don't have to become best friends with them, but you really need to have respect for each other. So a meeting allows you to ask any questions that, you, that are worrying you or, or anything that you, you've had problems with at your other agent. Have a chat to them. It's always good to do. So now I'll talk about instructing a new agent. When you've decided on the new agent, you should review the business agreement carefully. If there's any issues, anything that you don't agree with or you don't understand, then ask them, just ask them to, 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 to go through it in detail with you. Instructing a new agent can take a little bit of time, so try to do this as early as possible. Some of the steps agent must do include contact the tenants and arrange to meet with them, make arrangements for any payment changeover, they'll need to draft a new tenancy agreement as well, and they'll also have to ensure that the deposit is transferred and protected by themselves. The more time you can give a new agent to do this work, the better, because it's gonna be easier for them. And if you're, a, if you're a landlord looking for a new agent, you always want to make sure that they've got ample time to do so. Now, there are just a few pointers that I thought I would, I would suggest to you. If you do want to have a chat or there's some things that I've not covered, then give me a call, I'll be happy to help. My number's 01942 238 200. Thank you,